We are supposed to calculate wholesale plan as well as row one plan. Easy to calculate. One working note is sufficient for all. This is a formula we calculate for row one, even for x, even for y, and even for z. Hello everyone. This is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So. Now we are in the session six of your topic called cost accounting. Under cost accounting, we are discussing your labor topic. This is the last session of your topic called your labor. So with this, we will conclude or we will wind up your topic called labor. Now, under this, what we are going to do? We will solve two problems. As I told you, what we did in the previous session, the same plan we will implement. What is that plan? Very simple. We will work out two problems today. Along with me, you are also solving. Now, so along with me, you are also solving means you have to keep your pen as well as paper along with you. And as uh, whatever I'm doing on the board, the same thing you will also do on your own. Later, we'll see whether your problem is correct or not. You can cross check with the answer what I have done on the screen. The agenda is same thing, almost you have learned all the concept of your labor topic and in today's session we will work out your problems. The first topic will be your problem number 9. Under this, from the following calculate total wages earned under wholesale plan and row 1 plan. You are supposed to calculate under wholesale and under row 1. Now, what is the basic wage rate per hour? What is the unit produce and time allowed, time taken? Remember, if in the question they have given information about the basic wage rate and the unit produce, these kind of informations they have given means you are supposed to find out the standard time. Again, I'll repeat, these kind of information if they have given means you are supposed to find out your standard time. Now, so these are the information they have given wholesale plan as well as row one plan. Now in this basic wage rate, unit produce, time allowed as well as time taken. Now, so we'll go for the answer. Before that, we'll go for the working note in this. Wholesale plan, so total earning time taken into hourly rate half of the time saved into a little before this i'll go for your working note now so what is a working note in this whatever informations are given time taken 200 hours time taken is equal to 200 hours this is over now what is the hourly rate hr hourly rate what is the hourly rate in this they have given around 15 rupees per hour. So it will be how much? 1.5. Now, now again I'll go back, I'll check. What are the unit produced? There are almost 5,000 units are produced. Now, what is the time allowed? It is around 100 units for that 5 hours. To produce 5 hours, we need 100 units. Now, I'll calculate like in this time saved. How to calculate now? So in the question they have given 5 hours for 100 units. 100 is what? Base. 5 hours 100 units multiplied with how many units they have produced? 5000. They have produced around 5000 units. Now so these are the calculation in this 5000. Now calculate. So how to calculate? Simplify this. These zero zeros will cancel. 15 into 5, it will come around 250. This is all about your time saved. Hope you understood. What is your time saved? 250. Now, so you're done with this calculation. Again, you go back. So what is your total earning? Your time taken as per this time taken is 200. 
multiply it with what is the hourly rate? Hourly rate it is given 50 plus 1 divided by 2 time saved. What is the time saved? I'll come back in this. How to find out your time saved in this? Time saved is equal to standard time minus time taken. Standard time minus time taken. Now, what is the time saved in the standard time? We calculated 250. Time taken, it is already given in the question itself. It is 200. Your answer will be how much? 50. Hope you understood. This is called your time saved. Now, your time saved is 50. Multiplied with your hourly rate is 15. Any doubt up to this? No. Now we'll calculate one by one. 200 into 15. How much you will get? It comes around 3000. How much it is? 3000. I'll calculate once. So this will be 200 multiplied with 15. This is 3000. Then plus half. 50 multiplied with 15, it is 750. We'll cross check once. 50 multiplied with 15, it is 750. Now calculate 3000 plus half of the 750, 375. So again, I'll cross check. So 750 into 1 by 2, 375. What is the answer? 3,375. Your answer is how much? 3,375. This is all about your answer. Hope you understood. So, what is your wholesale plan answer? Wholesale plan answer is 3,375. We'll go for your row 1 plan. Under row one plan, what happens? Your time taken. So already we know time taken is 200. Hourly rate is 15. Your again, I'll write down all the all these things. Now, time taken it is 200. Hourly rate it is 15. Standard time it is 250. Time saved it is 50. These are the information actually we require to calculate your row one plan. I'll come back to this. Time taken is how much? 200. Hourly rate is how much? 15. Plus time saved. What is the time saved? 50. Standard time is how much? 250. So time taken 200. Hourly rate it is 15. So these are the information they have given now. So with this 200 into 15, how much it will be 3000 plus we have to simplify this. We'll simplify later RS. So 5155, easy to calculate. So this is how much 200 into 15, it is 3000. I'll simplify this. So 50 divided by 250 into 200 into 15. So it will be around 600. What is your final answer? 3600. So this is all about your row one plan. Hope you understood. So intentionally I made this session. Why? Because we'll do it together so that you will understand what is the procedure and how to solve the problem. So this is all about your row one plan and this is all about your wholesale plan. I'll go back to your first slide. Yes, if you want, you can take a screenshot. Your problem number nine, the wholesale plan under problem number nine, the row one plan under problem number nine. So from the following information, calculate the earning of worker under row one and under wholesale plan. We are supposed to calculate wholesale plan as well as row one plan. Now, in this what happens? They have given all the information, actual time taken, it is 20 hours, 32, 
35 for x y as well as z you are supposed to calculate for x for y and for z whole say plan x y z row one plan x y z now actual time taken is given actual output 400 400 400 it is common for all easy to calculate one working note is sufficient for all now so hourly rate wages is how much 12 rupees per hour they are paying 12 rupees now standard output is 10 so standard output how much they have given 10 so how to calculate this so it is very easy to calculate now 10 is a major thing your 400 is a base thing now in this what happens each unit i'll go for working note to calculate time standard time what we are calculating we are calculating your standard time how to calculate very simple now as per this so standard output per hour one hour you can produce 10 units one hour you can produce 10 units now we need information for 400 units now multiplied with 400 what is the answer you will get around if you simplify this so it will be 40 hours what is your standard time 40 what is the time saved i'll come back time saved is equal to for x for y and for z so these are the things we have we have to find out your time saved how to calculate c we have taken 400 400 400 units what are the time taken 20 hours 32 hours 35 hours now what is the standard time we got 40 40 is the standard time now time taken is 20 32 35 20 32 35 minus this this will be 20 this will be 8 and this will be 5 this is called as time saved remember there is a working note to find out time saved so cross check with your answer whether what you are doing is correct so for x we have around 20 hours time saved for y we have around 8 hours time saved for z we have around 5 hours time saved so we done with all the calculation i'll go for your individual wholesale plan and individual row one plan first one wholesale plan so what is the formula for wholesale plan already we have calculated we have done so many problems on wholesale plan what is the formula the formula is time taken into hourly rate then time saved into hourly rate this is what 1 by 2 half this is what plus remember this is a formula for your wholesale plan first we'll calculate for x then we'll calculate for y then we calculate for z now x what is the calculation time taken what is the time taken i'll come back time taken is 20 hours now 20 hours multiplied with hourly rate what is the hourly rate as per the question it is 12 rupees see hourly rate is how much 12 rupees 12 rupees so then half so time saved is how much time saved as per first person 20 rupees saved 20 again it is hourly rate is 12 so these are the calculation for the first person we are doing this is for whom x now so 20 into 120 how much it is almost 240 plus half so it will be how much even the time taken also 20, time saved also 20, that's why 
you will get the same answer. It will be how much? 240. If you simplify this, 240 plus 120, your answer is 360. This is all about your first one, that is your x first person. We'll go for y. So we'll go for y in this. What is the time taken by y? The time taken by y is 32 hours. Now, in this 32 hours multiplied with 12, then plus half time saved. How much is time saved? Second person, it is 8 hours saved. Now, this will be 8 multiplied with 12. So, these are the calculation. Now, 32 multiplied with 12, how much you will get? 32 multiplied with 12, you will get 384 plus half 8 multiplied with 12. It will be 96. So it is 96. Now, 96. So calculate 384 as it is, half as it is, half into 96. How much? 96 divided by 2, it is 48. So this will be 48. Your final answer, 48 plus 384, 432. So your final answer, 432, if you go for Y. X answer we got, Y answer also we got. Now we'll go for Z. Now the last person, Last person, we call it as Z. Now, what is the calculation for him? How many hours he has taken? He has taken 35 hours. Remember, 35 hours. Now, as per this, the time taken is 35 hours. What is the hourly rate? Hourly rate will not change. It remains 12 only. Plus half. Again, Time saved. How much time saved? I'll come back. Time saved, the last person is 5. Hourly rate is 12. 35 multiplied with 12, how much you will get? Now, 35 multiplied with 12, you will get 420 plus 5 divided into 12, it will be 60. So it is half divided by 60. What is the final answer? 60 half is what? 30. Now 60 multiplied with 1 divided by 2, it is 30. So how much it is? 450. Hope you understood. Now if it is x, answer is 360. If it is Y, the answer is 432. If it is Z, the answer is 450. This is all about wholesale plan. Still, we are in wholesale plan. The next part will be your row one plan. We'll go for your row one plan, the second one. Row one plan. What is the formula for row one plan? Hope you remember. Now, the formula is very easy. So, this will be your Time taken into hourly rate plus time saved divided by standard time. Time taken into hourly rate. So this is a formula we calculate for row 1, even for x, even for y and even for z. Now first we calculate for your x, then we'll come for y, then we'll come for z. Now first one x. So what is the calculation? Time taken into hourly rate. So I'll write down here x, y and z. Time taken, then standard time, time saved. So that you need not to go back and check. Everything will be there in the screen itself. Now, time taken is how much? As per the question, 20, 32 and 35. 
ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू एंड थर्टी फाइव वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड टाइम फोर्टी फोर्टी वॉट इज द टाइम सेव इट इज ट्वेंटी इट इज एट इट इज फाइव सो दीज आर द इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू डू प्रॉब्लम ना टाइम टेकन फॉर द फर्स्ट पर्सन इट इज ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ अवर इट इट इज ट्वेल्व प्लस टाइम सेव इट इज ट्वेंटी स्टैंडर्ड टाइम इट इज फोर्टी टाइम टेकन इट इज ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज ट्वेल्व एनी डाउट नो डाउट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस विल बी टू फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी बाई फोर्टी दिस विल बी टू फोर्टी नाउ वॉट विल बी योर आंसर इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई टू फोर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी टू फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाई विथ ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई विथ फोर्टी योर आंसर इज वन ट्वेंटी योर फाइनल आंसर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी दिस फॉर द फर्स्ट पर्सन नाउ विल गो फॉर द सेकेंड पर्सन हु इज दट वाई द सेकेंड पर्सन इज हु वाई इन दिस द टाइम टेकन द सेम फॉर्मूला टाइम टेकन इज हाउ मच थर्टी टू थर्टी टू अवर रेट इज ट्वेल्व then plus time saved is how much 8 hours he has saved now 8 divided by 40 then same thing 32 multiplied with 12 hope you understood now in this what happens 32 multiplied with 12 32 multiplied with 12 it will come 384 384 plus 8 by 40 This is three hundred and eighty-four. We'll simplify this. We'll see what you will get. So this will be three eighty-four plus what is this? Three eighty-four multiplied with eight divided by forty. You will get seventy-seven or seventy-six point eight. What is the final answer? We'll see. Final answer plus three eighty-four. Your final answer four sixty point eight. So this is all about your second one. Why? We'll go for Z last one. So hope you are getting. I am going slow so that you will understand better. Now again, I am not repeating the formula. The same thing will going to apply. Now in this what happened? Z. In this what happened? The first one. Time taken. How much time taken? Thirty-five multiplied with twelve plus. What is the time saved? Five divided by how much? Forty. Then thirty-five multiplied with twelve. This is all about your calculation. Now, if you simplify, how much you will get? Now, thirty-five multiplied with twelve. It will be four twenty. Plus five by forty. This is four twenty. Now, this will remain as it is. If you simplify this, four twenty multiplied with five divided by forty. How much it is? Fifty two point five. Fifty two point five. What is your answer? Your answer is four twenty plus fifty two point five. Your answer is four seventy two point five, four hundred and seventy two point five. Hope you got answer for X, Y as well as Z. So this is all about your answer for X, and this is all about your answer for Y, and this is all about your answer for Z. Now, so these are the information. which is available to calculate your problem like time taken standard time and time saved what is your formula your formula is time taken multiplied with hourly rate so plus time saved divided by standard time so time taken multiplied with hourly rate so remember this is very important that's why i change your color whatever i have changed the color those are very important so the first one x y and z there is a formula 
these are the information to calculate and we are doing the row 1 method so these are the row 1 method now before this i will go for the previous slide so that you will understand better so this is a problem you are supposed to solve so these are the working note to find out the time saved these are the wholesale plan for x y as well as z these are the row 1 plan for x y as well as z so answers are 360 460 470 so this is all about your today's session we done with your topic on labor and the next session will go with the new topic thank you